teachers! This is the second video in a two-part series all about using Google Chrome extensions for education. And in this video, I am going to be sharing my top 10 favorite Google Chrome extensions for students in 2021. Now, all of the extensions that I am about to share with you, these things are going to make learning more accessible for each of your unique students. They are going to help your students with things like reading and writing, and they're also just gonna make online learning a little bit more fun. So I can't wait to share each of these with you today. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, like I said, this is the second video in a two-part series. The first video that we released last week was all about the top 10 Google Chrome extensions for teachers in 2021. So that video is linked in the description below and you're definitely going to want to go back and check that out if you're an educator so that you can learn all about the Google Chrome extensions that you can be using this year to save you time and to help you engage your students remotely in creative ways. You're not gonna wanna miss that. And we release a lot of great videos here every single week all about using technology in the classroom and how to make your instruction more engaging and fun. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of those things. Now, let's go ahead and get into the real reason why you're here, the top Google Chrome extensions for students in 2021. And before I share my top 10 list with you, I wanna make sure that you know how to install extensions on your Chrome browser and then how to access those extensions once they are installed. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer real quick and I'll show you how it's done and then we'll jump into that top 10 list. So once you're inside of your Chrome browser, you are going to go to the Chrome Chrome web store and it should be the first thing that comes up in Google so you'll just click on that once you are inside of the web store you're going to use this search bar in the top left hand corner and you're just going to type in whatever uh, extension you're looking for you can also scroll through and look at ones that are popular and ones that it suggests but I'm going to start by searching for one that I use And so then it will give you a list of options. I'm gonna click on the one that I want, and then to install it, I'm just gonna click Add to Chrome. And you'll click Add Extension. Sometimes it will ask you to create an account or do something like that, like you can see here. Um, it's asking me to sign up with my Google account, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, you will know that something or an extension is installed in your Chrome browser because you'll notice that it changes to remove from Chrome. So this tells me that it's already there. Now to look up and see what extensions you already have, you're gonna click on this puzzle icon up here and it is going to give you a list of all of the extensions that you have on your Chrome. So if you'll notice right now, insert learning that I just installed, it's not listed up here on my browser. If I want it to be listed up here so I can get to it a little bit quicker, I can click on this blue pin and you'll notice that it goes up there. And if I wanna take it away, I would just click on the blue pin again. So that is how you are going to access all of your extensions once they're installed. All right, so now that you know how to install and access your Google Chrome extensions, let's go ahead and dive into my top 10 list for students. Now the first four extensions that I am going to share with you all have to do with helping students comprehend uh, articles and passages that they read on the internet. So the first Google Chrome extension I have for you is Read and Write, and it has so many amazing comprehension tools. Let's jump on my computer right now. I'm gonna show you some of the best comprehension tools that are part of this. This extension literally has so many great things, so we're just gonna cover some of the best aspects of it right now. All right, I have this really short Time for Kids article pulled up and I am going to open the Read and Write extension. Now, there are so many things that this extension can do. I'm actually considering making another video where I just talk about all of the things that this can do. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. But right now, I just wanna highlight some of the most helpful features. First of all, if you click on the hover speech, you'll see a purple line appear. And now hover over any word 
British and Colombian archaeologists have discovered a large display of ancient rock art. It's on. So you can see when I hover over a word, it's going to start reading out loud, starting with that word. Another tool I want to show you is the different dictionary tools. So if I highlight a word and then click on the dictionary, it will give me a written definition of that word. I can also highlight the word and click on the picture icon and it will give me a picture definition of the word. Now, a few other things I want to show you real quick is the highlighting tools. The colors really don't matter. Your students can just pick a color that they like, but I'm going to highlight a couple different words from this article and I'll do all different colors so that you can see it really doesn't matter. And so I've got these words highlighted. Now there's a couple of things I can do with them. I can click on collect highlights. And what it will do now is it is creating a document for me with all the words that I've highlighted so that I can go back and refer to those again, or maybe I can do an activity with those highlighted words. Another thing that's really cool is if you click on the vocabulary icon, it is going to create a document with all those highlighted words again. It gives you a column with the meaning and then also the visual for each of those words as well. So this is really just scratching the surface of what Read and Write can do, but you can see there are so many helpful tools here. All right, so the next Google Chrome extension that I have for you is Google Dictionary by Google. And this is a very simple extension, but it is very practical and very helpful. So basically when students are reading any article or passage online, they can highlight a word, click the extension, and it's gonna pull up the definition for them. It does also have some translation features as well, which can be helpful for ESL students, but really this extension can work hand in hand with Read and Write and some of the other extensions that I'm going to share with you in this video. So there was a dictionary tool in the Read and Write extension, but I also just wanna show you an easier dictionary tool that you can use as well. So if I highlight any word from this article and then open up Google Dictionary, the definition will automatically appear. So this is just another option for you. I think this one is a little bit more simple to use, especially if you don't need all those other tools. While the Google Dictionary extension can translate single words and also provide definitions in other languages, I do not recommend that you rely solely on Google Dictionary for your ESL students. There are some better extensions that are specifically created for translations that are a little bit better. And one of my favorite is Reverso. This one is going to allow students to translate, highlight and translate longer sections of text within an article or passage online. All right, so I am in News ELA right now, which is a site I know a lot of you use to share articles and content with students. So let's say I have an ESL student in my class and they are struggling to read this. What they can do if they have Reverso installed in their browser is they can highlight a sentence or a paragraph. And if they come up here and click on the extension, you will see that it now translates this into Spanish for them. And let's say you have a student that speaks something other than Spanish. You can just click up here. Um, so we'll start with English and then we want it to go to, let's say Chinese, or we want it to translate to French. Um, you can translate it back and forth between any language that you want. Now, the last extension I'm going to recommend to help with reading is Mercury Reader. And I absolutely love this one because there are so many great resources online. I love sites like National Geographic and History.com, but the problem with those sites are they are packed with ads. And whenever there's a lot of ads on something that my students are looking at, I automatically get very nervous because I don't want them seeing inappropriate content and then being responsible for it. The ads are also just very, very distracting and they take away from the content that we want our students to glean. So what I love about Mercury Reader is when you are on a web page that maybe has a lot of ads on it, you can open this extension and what it's going to do is it's going to take all the important content 
from that page. It's going to take the article, it's going to take any pictures that are directly associated with the article, even any videos that are directly associated with the article, and it is going to open up a new tab just with the important content. It's going to take away all the ads, all the phishing, um, and click clickbait that are going to distract your students or might be inappropriate, and it's just going to pull up a tab with the information that you want them to see. So I have this article about Martin Luther King Jr. pulled up, and you can see there's a lot of great information here, but this page is so packed with ads, it's really distracting. Um, a little hard to get through and I'm always nervous about what ads are popping up for students. So I'm going to go ahead and open Mercury Reader and you will see that when I do this, it pulls open a new version of the article. It keeps the pictures, it keeps the text, but all of those ads are gone. It even includes the videos here as well, so those are still there. Everything students need to see is here, but all the other garbage is completely gone. And since we're talking about ads, I want to very briefly mention another extension that I use all the time, and I encourage you to have your students use this one as well, and that is Adblocker. And Adblocker is going to help block a lot of the ads that do come up on websites, especially educational websites. I found that it's not 100% perfect at blocking every single thing, but it will help to block a lot of things. So this can be another very helpful extension for keeping your students safe and for making sure that they're not getting distracted by those ads. Now, since I took the time to share several extensions that will help your students with reading, I also want to share a few that will help your students with writing. And the first one of those is Grammarly. This is one that I use quite often. It is helpful, helpful for both adults and for students. And what this will do is anytime you're working in Chrome, whether it's an email, a Google Doc, whatever it is, if you open this extension, it will highlight spelling and grammatical errors for you and also make recommendations. So this is a great way just to help your students, uh, encourage them to proofread and edit their writing. All right, so let's say students have typed a few things here in a Google Doc. This is a journal entry by a student. They can open up their Grammarly extension so let's say a student is typing this journal entry and they want to check it before they submit it to me. When the Grammarly extension is open, you'll always see some kind of little circle down here that pops up and the number in it is telling me how many things are wrong. So if I click on this, it will show me what is wrong. So it's saying I need to correct spelling and you can just click on these and it will fix it. Now, it's not going to be perfect. I still see a few grammatical things up here that it didn't catch, but it's gonna catch a lot of things and it's just a great way for your students to double check their work before submitting it. Anyone else constantly trying to get their students to use more creative language and expand their vocabularies? Well, Power Thesaurus is a great extension to help with this problem. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because it's almost exactly the same as Google Dictionary that I shared with you a little bit earlier in this video. But when students click on or highlight a word, what it's going to do is pull up a list of synonyms and antonyms for them instead of the definition. So this is just a great way to provide students with other words and options that they can use when they're writing. I get a lot of messages from teachers asking me if there is a way for students to watch a video and look at an article or look at something else from another web page at the same time. And the easiest solution to this is to have two monitors. So you can have the video on one monitor and whatever the other web page is on the other monitor. But this isn't really practical. A lot of our students cannot afford to have two monitors. They don't have access to two monitors. So it's just not the most practical option a lot of the times. So if this is the case for you, a great alternative is the picture in picture extension by Google. And what this will allow you to do is it will allow you or students to essentially pull a video that is playing and it will kind of minimize in the bottom of the screen and then they can still view content from another page uh, behind that video at the same time. So this is a great alternative to that problem. 
Okay, so I've got a video about Susan B. Anthony here and then an article about her from the National Women's History Museum here. And if students want to look at both at the same time, what they can do is they're going to push play and then they're going to open the extension and I'll show you what happens. She was a great inspirational leader. She rallied hundreds thousands of women. Susan B. Anthony changed the course of history for women in the United States. All right, the last two Google Chrome extensions for students that I want to share with you are just two that make learning a little bit more fun and engaging for students. I love finding creative ways and simple ways that we can get our students a little bit more excited about learning. And one of those extensions is Custom Cursor. And this is really fun. By opening this extension, they can turn their cursor into almost anything. They can change it into sports icons, emojis. They can use characters from cartoons and books like Harry Potter or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's all kinds of things that they can turn their cursor into. One of my favorite ones is the Mickey Mouse hands because I'm a big Disney fan, so I love using that one. All right, we are down to our last Google Chrome extension for students. And the last one that I wanna to recommend to you is Emoji Keyboard. And this one is super cool. It will allow students to open up a keyboard and add emojis into their emails, to their Google Docs, to any type of writing that they're doing inside of Google Chrome. And I always tell students, you know, we don't wanna be using emojis all the time and emojis aren't even appropriate in every context. If they're doing a research paper, it's probably not appropriate. But there are some times where they're doing creative writing or collaborative writing and being able to add a few emojis in can be something really fun for your students. So I have this morning message typed out for my students and I want them to be able to either see it on the board when they walk into class or see it as soon as they log into our Zoom meeting. But I'd like to add some emojis in here just to make it a little more fun and catch their attention. So I'm gonna click on some of the places where I wanna add emojis and I'm gonna click on my emoji keyboard. And what's nice about this is you can uh, click on the different headings to search for things or you can just type or hit search and type what you want. So I am going to pick one of these moon phases and I clicked on it, which copied it. And then I just clicked on control V to paste it in here. And let's see, I'm gonna add a star right here. So this time I'm gonna search for stars and I'm gonna go for this one. So it's copied it, and now I'm just gonna click where I want and click Control V, and it put the shooting star in there. So this is just a fun way to add those emojis into your docs, uh, your slides, your emails, whatever you're typing out for students. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 Google Chrome extensions that I'm recommending for students in 2021. And I am sure that you know of some extensions that I have not listed in this video. So if you know of some cool Google Chrome extensions that your students are using and loving, or that is making learning a little bit more accessible for your students, go ahead and list those in the comments below because you are helping all the teachers that watch this video when you list that out because it gives them ideas of things that they can try too. It gives me ideas of things that I can try. I'm always looking for new things. Um, and don't forget in the description, we also have the first part of this video, which are my top 10 Google Chrome extensions for teachers in 2021. So make sure to go check out that video if you haven't already so that you can learn about all kinds of extensions that will help you save time and engage students in 2021. And last but not least, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel to grow. It also helps us to reach more educators with helpful tips and resources. And it also benefits you because it lets you know when our latest videos and free resources become available. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. And until next time, happy teaching.